Whatever he's told you, he's making it all up. Why would he do that? Because he's humiliated. My cousin dumped him and that's his sick idea of revenge. Let's talk about what happened Christmas night. Well, you've already got my statement. We've got a victim of attempted murder who's not only a landlord, but his wife's left him for another woman who just so happens to be your housemate, business partner and wife. You were at the pub the time of the attack, which gives you the means, the motive, and the opportunity. Well, it weren't me. We have a missing man who you will claim was in a fight with Mr. Panisar. Well, he was. Yet Mr. Panisar doesn't remember it. And Mr. Taylor, who willingly or otherwise seems to have gone to ground, which makes him quite a convenient scapegoat, don't you think? They had a massive row right in front of us. Over what? Nish was rubbing it in Keanu's face that Sharon had called the wedding off. Bit of an overreaction, don't you think? To bludgeon someone just for poking fun? Well, no, not when they'd had a row a few weeks before that. I mean, Keanu was really wound up. He had a crazy look in his eye and Nish wanted Suki to go home and talk and that's when Keanu went to the bar, he grabbed the bottle and he smacked him over the head. And you saw the old thing, did you? Yep. Remember every detail? Clear as day. I didn't see it all, but I did see Keanu pick up the champagne bottle. Your original statement, so which is true. You did see it all, or you didn't see it all? I need to make a phone call. I ain't saying another word. <laughs>